the real story behind the legend of Cocaine Bear. Cocaine Bear is currently in theaters, bringing with it an onslaught of severed limbs, blood-soaked victims, and gruesome mayhem. Yet that is not exactly how the true narrative of the Cocaine Bear, also known as Pablo Esco Bear, would be described. The discovery of a dead bear in Georgia's Chattahoochee National Forest in 1985 inspired Jimmy Warden's screenplay for Banks' film. In September 1985, Andrew Thornton, a convicted drug smuggler, died in a parachute accident. The current assumption is that Thornton was traveling in an airplane with 880 pounds of cocaine and believed the federal government was tailing him, so he threw some of the cash out of the plane and parachuted with the rest. His strategy went astray. Thornton was reportedly deceased as of September 11, 1985. In Knoxville, Tennessee, he was discovered in a driveway wearing Gucci loafers and with around $15 million worth of cocaine strapped to his body. A bear did not make an appearance until four months later. In December 1985, the New York Times reported that a 175-pound black bear died of a cocaine overdose after discovering a stash of the narcotic. The dead bear was discovered in the Chattahoochee National Forest. The cocaine was probably dropped from a plane piloted by Andrew Thornton, a convicted drug smuggler who died on September 11 in Knoxville, Tennessee, because he was carrying an excessively heavy load while parachuting, according to a story by United Press International and the Times. The agency reports that the bear was discovered along with 40 unsealed plastic vials containing traces of cocaine in northern Georgia on Friday. Dr. Kenneth Alonzo, Georgia's top medical examiner at the time, was subsequently quoted by the Associated Press. The doctor did an autopsy on the bear and discovered that it had between 3 and 4 grams of cocaine in its bloodstream, though it could have consumed even more. Long-standing rumors assert that the bear consumed all 40 vials of cocaine, or approximately 35 pounds. In reality, this is where the saga of the cocaine bear ends. In contrast to the new Universal Pictures back horror comedy, no additional victims or severed limbs were discovered in the forest that were connected to the bear. According to screenwriter Jimmy Warden in an interview with Variety, the film is not historical fiction, but rather my twisted dream of what I wish truly occurred after the bear ingested so much cocaine. Banks told Variety that she decided to direct Cocaine Bear because she wanted to offer the bear his own perspective. After reading the initial stories from 1985, she expressed deep pity for the bear. Banks remarked, I felt it was so messed up that this bear was brought into a botched drug deal and killed. I believe that this film may be the revenge tale of the bear. Cocaine Bear is currently showing in cinemas across the nation. This is too fascinating to ignore. Leave your comments below.